gonna believe this, but it's three o'clock on Monday morning. And I'm awake. See, I'm not joking, it's 315. Verified, 316. sleep. I was uh, pretty excited. So I guess we just get the day started then. Maybe I should go back to bed. But then again, your dreams, the things that you want in life, the expensive cars, I can't get this if I'm sleeping. And I also can't get this one if I'm sleeping. So uh, I guess it's time for work then. Let's go. So, 5 a.m., well, technically it's 5.04, but so far this morning, created all the little artsy stuff that you see on Instagram. Five o'clock in the morning, I've already gotten a blog done, scheduled out some posts, We're rocking and rolling a bit here. Um, I don't have any meetings for like at least another four hours, so I get a lot of creative work done at this time in the morning, and I also get plenty of opportunities to drink copious amounts of caffeine in the form of black magic coffee. <laughs> What's next for me is uh, a little bit of the video work that I do um, for, for Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. This is kind of just really a day in the life of Jordan is, this is, you know, I've been up since three, this is probably gonna turn into a 17, 18 hour long work day, which I'm pumped about because it means that I, I, I've I've gotten 17 to 18 hours of work done by Monday night. And it probably also means that I'll be in bed hella early this, this evening, meaning that I can wake up again early again tomorrow and kind of just duplicate this. If you can get 100 hours of work done in a week, that's amazing. Because what you're doing is you're taking what could have maybe taken two to three weeks of work to get done, and you're getting it done in one week. And that's how you know, you're able to get so much further ahead in life versus other people that are still sleeping. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> it's about seven o'clock now. I've gotten about four hours worth of work done. Personally, I wanted to wake up this morning, first things first, throw on the running shoes and go for a run. But then I started making a bunch of excuses like, hey, it's getting cold in Wisconsin. You don't really need to go for a run, Jordan. You're in pretty good shape. You look pretty decent. You're not like, you know, trying to lose a bunch of weight or anything. So you can take a day off. Just don't even do it. And then I had one actual real excuse and that was opening my AirPods and realizing that they were completely dead. It's like getting into a car that doesn't have an engine. You're not gonna get anywhere. Yeah, you're in the car, but you're not moving anywhere. That's the same thing as going for a run without headphones. Like. What are you supposed to do? Listen to your own thoughts? Are you kidding me? It doesn't work like that. Unless you have bass thumping, fast moving EDM music, just boom, boom, boom for each step, then how are you actually gonna get anywhere? I suppose it's probably about time to go for that run. All right, well, it is uh, about 10 o'clock. I'm uh, obviously seven hours into my day here and I've accomplished a ton. Just got done with a two mile run. You know, something nice and short, easy to keep me in shape. You know, make sure that my face like doesn't get fat, I guess. Now it is time for client calls. And by client calls, I mean with clients that pay me every single month to handle sales training for their team. Obviously, a lot of people understand that I run Stupar Sales Academy where people like individuals can go and get some access and they can learn things and crush and dominate sales. But one of the things that I don't talk a lot about because it just doesn't really pertain to individuals is I do quite a bit of team sales training for companies uh, where I will be jumping on a Zoom call right now every week, 10 o'clock a.m. I jump in front of my clients at Town Square Media and uh, we talk about sales and sales training. So I'm gonna jump on this meeting, I'm gonna rock this, and then I should probably consider actually having some food since I haven't eaten yet.
All right, so done with the client coaching call. Now I've got to call somebody else to lock down their spot for my 12 week sales acceleration program, which it's too much to actually explain here. So let's give Edward Schwartz a call, see if he picks up and see if we can get ourselves a deal. Frankly, there's nothing better than doing deals. Nothing better than even trying to do deals. Just trying to do deals is fun. You can't reach now that you please. At the tone, please record your message. When you Why do they always put this part in? To leave a callback number, press five. Hey Edward, Jordan Stupar here. Hope you're doing well and you just texted me right now. So I'm assuming that you're just trying to schedule a call. I will uh, let go of this voicemail and I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, bye. He'll call me back in about 10 minutes. Now, let's just go over something cool because it's effective, right? I have this person's cell phone number. They were an inbound opportunity and most inbound opportunities will provide you with a cell phone number. Now, if this person didn't actually text me and say, hey, I'll call you in 10 minutes, I would have actually gone ahead right away and either to his cell phone or to his Facebook Messenger, I would have shot him a selfie video to let him know that, hey, I'm here, I told you that I'd be calling. I'm sure that you're a little bit tied up. Uh, but that selfie video, in addition to leaving the voicemail, is two forms of communication. And then on top of that, what I would more than likely do is after sending out the selfie video, I'd go ahead and send out an email as well and potentially even send out messages on LinkedIn or Instagram if I could find this person. Um, the whole point is when you're supposed to have communication with somebody and it's not happening, maybe you're just on the wrong channel. Sometimes it pays to go on those other channels, those other platforms and find the place where that person is more than likely able to communicate with you. And that's, that's what I like to do, I cover people up and quite frankly, I've never had anybody tell me like, dude, slow your roll. You're like, you just reached out to me on every single social media platform. I have a text message and a voicemail. Like, time out, bro. Just like, leave me the voicemail. I've never had anybody actually do that. People actually appreciate you taking the extra couple of minutes to go out and actually find which place or platform or channel they want to be communicated with. And I think that'll be very helpful for a lot of you. I uh, just I, I guess I had a few questions on on uh, on the program that you're you're offering, and I just thought it was uh... obviously I uh, completely respect you talking to the wife. I talk to my wife or my fiance about everything before I do anything. Um, if you're explaining this to her and she understands this is kind of a good thing, but she says no to you, uh, what, what what do you think will happen then? I don't. You know, I don't necessarily think she'll say no you know she just uh i just run it past her before we purchase anything and i don't see that happening because uh she's pretty you know pretty open for us as doing doing more sales and then and she's all about she does a lot of personal development okay Sounds good to me, Edward. Um, I'm available all day. Um, this is my personal cell, so call, text, um, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, I will sure do that. Awesome, Edward. I'm really yep. looking forward to having you inside this group and working with you over the next three months. Okay, well, I do appreciate it. Yep, talk to you soon. Yep, bye-bye. Okay. All right, so didn't push him too hard because that's kind of a done deal. Um, I was feeling that out on the phone call. Typically, if somebody's doing the whole wife thing, you kind of eliminate it by saying, you know, what would what would you do if they said no? And then, of course, you know, most often they just say, well, I'll do it anyway. Or they say that I'm not going to do it at all, in which case, of course, it makes sense to say, I get that. Wouldn't allow you to do anything that your wife wouldn't want you to do. I get it. Nobody likes sleeping in the doghouse. But tell me, what would your wife be saying no to? Would it be the three grand for the investment? Would it be the you know, half hour, 45 minutes a day time investment that you'd have to be spending on this program? Or would it be the fact that you're going to take your business from one three, one five million a year and double it? What would be she be saying no to? And in which case, it would usually be the $3,000 uh, because it's probably not the time and it's certainly not the fact that that business would double. So it'd be the 3000 bucks that his wife would be assuming would be a no-go, in which case you've eliminated the wife from this conversation and now you're on the price of 3000 in which case I would be prepared to do a couple of other things to hopefully get this deal done. But I digress and by saying that, Edward is gonna end up doing business with me and uh, 
I was just feeling that out on the call. That's just experience. So now it's time for more phone calls. Let's go. A day in the life with Jordan Stupar is kind of obnoxiously boring. Honestly, this is what I do every single day. So hopefully I'll never have to make a video like this again. But people have been asking me like, what's a day in the life of Jordan Stupar? <laughs> I sit at a desk and I get work done all day. That's what I do and let's get back to it. Whew. Five o'clock, been going hard. Like Neo in the Matrix when they plugged him in and they were like teaching him jujitsu and all that stuff and then Morpheus looks over and he's like, this guy's a machine. That's how I feel right now. I'm not taking any weird supplements or anything. I don't know exactly how my body or my mind is capable of just slaying an entire day like this non-stop. I've been back to back legitimately all, all day. And that's the way I kind of like my life, so I'm not complaining at all. This is, this is life by design here. But what I'm trying to say is like, holy smokes, now it's time to get into the sales mastermind call that I have for all my Stupar Sales Academy members uh, so we can bounce ideas off of each other. And of course, I always, I always bring a topic. Um, it's a great networking kind of event type thing for people that are looking to get better and improve. Uh, we meet every uh, Monday at five and every Wednesday at five central uh, on Zoom. I record all these calls, drop them in the academy. So uh, the amount of content is insane. All right, all right. What's going on everybody? What's happening? You guys look great. What's up man? How you guys doing? What's up bud? How you doing man? What's going, what's going on? 816, been going hard all day. <clears throat> I wouldn't call this the normal, average, typical standard day for Jordan Stupar, but this is a pretty decent screenshot, snapshot or whatever, of a day in my life. A lot of office, a lot of computer, a lot of phone calls, a lot of rejection, a lot of money. It's basically a lot of everything and a whole lot of work. And I'll let you in on a little secret. There are no shortcuts on the road to success. There are cheat codes to make the game a little bit easier, but you still have to go through all of the levels. This is what it is, and this is what it takes. And, I, you know, I, one of the reasons I think my YouTube, val my YouTube can be a little bit valuable is because I'm here living it. I'm doing, the, I'm doing this thing. I don't have all the subscribers. I don't have all the fancy stuff. I will. And today, getting what I did today done and just, I feel really good about today. And today is one of those days that you just need to have. And by the way, last thing, be in a relationship that can actually respect this type of work. I've been in the house all day. Yeah, I've done a couple of things, taken the trash out, did some dishes, ate dinner. But at the end of the day, I'm with somebody that actually respects that 18 hour grind and is okay with it. But I do at the same time hear her calling me, so I'm out. Let's get it. I'll see you guys at the top.